Hello, knife people. I used this knife for the last hunt to try out this handle and this steel and edge geometry. It went dull very, very quickly, unexpectedly. Edge issue. This handle was very nice. I already knew. In its fist holding, this is very stable. Not so thick, but this contour makes this holding tight, like this. Very good handle. And in choking up, half choking up, like this, the tip of my index finger is still on the handle. And the side of this portion sustains this uh, bevel, uh, right side bevel and left side bevel, thumb, and hold the handle with these three fingers, you know, long enough. This holding, half choking up holding, half pinching, very good, yes. It is a hunting knife, white tail hunter. It has a great naming, but it is useless to me now. Because this steel does not hold for even a half deer. You know, it went down all of a sudden I remember that Chinese HCR 13 MOV was like that and uh, this darkness reminds me of bad sheet issue from cold steel and cable plastic sheet which dulled the edge very badly, very instantly. You know, this bad steel makes this knife value nothing. I don't need this knife anymore. The addressing can be a hard job uh, for this maker. Mm, assumption to make this knife but I don't think so this maker did not know this steel issue or I I mean this steel composition 1095 but I have never thought this knife was dull chrome one 1095 from Caber. It's a decent steel. It holds for a single deer, for sure. Like A2. Not so inferior to A2. It is a great steel. It isn't. It is not a knife edge, how I say, it is not a knife edge. Anyway, mm, I don't see any edge problems to my eyes. It is a micro issue, so I want to show you how, what, is taking place to this edge through this microscope in two uh, magnifications. It has two magnifications, 40 and 200. You know, you can see the difference, sharp edge and no visible.
problems, but very dull edge. You can see my asymmetrical grind. This is the dull edge from JGood. Magnified 40. This is the sharp K barrage. Symmetrical convex. Magnified 40. Okay. Let's increase the magnification. Magnify 200. From just above, you can see the edge line shining focus is difficult anyway edge line is thick and shiny i think this is the cause of darkness total metal losing from the apex I hope you can see it. Total rounding of the apex. I'll show you the sharp edge from cable from van. My convex. This is it. This edge is very sharp. Edge line thickness is different. Thin, very thin. Here, you can see the thinness of the edge line. Please rem remember this edge line. And I will go back to the dark edge. Yes, this is the dark edge. Edge line thickness is different. This is thicker. In high magnification, we can see we are seeing the cause of this darkness. This apex thickness is the cause of this darkness. I think you are tired of watching my not very sharp focused uh, microscopic viewing with many white fragments on the edge. They were from this slot plastic fragments. I did like this. This edge cuts 
this slot from this moving on the edge line. Anyway, mm, I and we uh, will have understood the reason for the edge darkness. Total apex rounding, metal particle losing, metal molecular losing. Mm, maybe 1095 is 1095. This heat treat would have been mm, incorrect. Maybe. And this maker didn't know that. If this maker did this heat treat by himself, I must say I'm sorry. Mm. But you know, this edge badness makes this excellent handle nothing. So, mm. and uh, I personally don't like this edge line. I like this edge line, belly line, not so long, straight portion and belly, continuous long belly. This subtle difference is large for getting straps beautifully and efficiently in high speed, this line. Anyway. Uh, in many terms, mm, I don't need this knife. Mm, this handle was great, but I will give knife to my friend who is not a hunter, but a knife lover, maybe. His main job is wood filtering. Uh, it will hold and it takes stropping. It must take stropping for sure. Okay, I will try stopping just a moment. I agree. This steel is uh, soft, but not roaring soft. Its softness is Metal losing softness, micro brittleness. I say <laughs> micro brittleness. My new, uh, how to say, interesting. My friend loves stropping very much. So, for hunting, uh, we have to do it for a long period of time in outdoors, no stopping. But for wood filtering in the house, for camping, wilderness camping, it makes problems. As it does during hunting, but for house jobs, not only wood filtering, but also for many house jobs, it takes rust easily. So for kitchen jobs, it will not be a good edge, good bevel, good steel, not good for water jobs. But for dry jobs in the house, it will be nice. As you can see, easy restoration. Soft steel, micro brittle steel. This is the 
Uh, J Good 1095. Okay, thanks for watching this long time. See you. Bye bye.